we're out here today maintaining our dog proof traps they were getting pretty nasty so I uh, brought them home give them a little TLC um, see a lot of different ways you can do it some other people soak them in vinegar and all that but I found it works good for me a little pressure washer I stick them in that board because if you ever try to pressure wash anything on grass and dirt it ain't pretty that solves that problem I'm just getting them completely clean get down there in them springs real good that many to do got some hanging on the fence over there but uh yep get them real clean get all that look and mud off of them mainly the springs you want them working real good and uh after that i'm gonna let them dry i'm gonna put another coat of paint on them or a coat of paint i put these out straight from the box without doing anything to them so uh Put a coat of paint on them and they should be ready to go. You can see all that stuff you can't really get out down in there. This one was extremely hard to set. Trigger was way too hard on it and uh, that probably has something to do with it. So get all that junk out and that's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And clean as a whistle. Looks a whole lot better. Pressure washer. Quick and easy. I'll go ahead and set the trap too so I can get back here in that crevice. Alright, got them all cleaned up. Look like whole new traps. Nice little layer of rust on them. But they look really good. We're going to let them sit here and dry and uh, mow the grass while we wait. And we'll come back, we'll put a layer of rust oleum paint on them. Just help protect them. And that'll be that. Really easy and I uh, highly recommend it. All right, we're set up to do a little painting now. A nice little coat of green, white, whatever color you want. This one says made for tractor implements on it, so I said, hey, it ought to be durable. But uh, I just got the Ace brand Rust Up, Rust Oleum. It's all the same stuff, just depends on how much you want to pay. This is $4.99. So, uh, give these a little quick coat and see what they look like. Alright guys, here's the final product. Little air bubbles, that ain't no big deal. That looks a lot better. Springs will be protected. Everything still works completely fine. Those will last a lot longer if you keep them protected. Anyway, that's how I do it. And uh, thanks for watching.